Hello everybody, this is Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a couple projects I wanted to share with you guys today. And this is with some paper that I picked up at Tuesday mornings. And this is it right here. I've had it probably for about, I don't know, maybe a month or so. And I'll flip through right quick so you guys can see uh, what it looks like in case you're interested in some. And if you guys follow me, you know that I love cats and dogs for that matter. So, um, this is really cute with the little faces on there. And this has got little dots on it. It's really cute just for um, a cat lover. So I picked that up. Like I said, it's been, and this is the page right here that I did all the fussy cutting for my projects. I use this to um, do those, or most of them. There's a couple of them in here that I actually used. I used this one too. And I use this for my straps. Anyway, I think it's just repeating itself. Anyway, I thought that was a cute paper collection and it was um, $6.99. And like I said, I picked that up at Tuesday mornings. And we will go ahead and get started um, with my little projects. I have this little gift bag and I have this little... It's like a suitcase cover, I guess you would call it. But I got the inspiration from this one from Crystal. And her YouTube night chat name is June Chris 315 I'll leave a link in the description bar below for um, everybody that ins inspired me for these. Um, for this little gift bag, Amy L. and Christiane's Crafty Adventures. Um, she was the inspiration for this one. So we'll start with this one first. Let me slide this one over. So this right here I thought was so cute. Like I said, I used that paper collection um, that I just shared with you guys to create this one. And a lot of people are doing this. It's just made with um, some laminate. And you just run it through your laminator and you put sequins in it. And I thought it was so cute. I love the way that it turned out. I just did some stars and all kind of different um sequins as you can probably tell but on the front here I just fussy cut some of those images out for that paper collection and I have a little cat these little uh, this little bow and this came from a um, eBay shop and so I just hear those there this is a pink and main bow right here and then I just did this little bead tassel here and like I said, I cut all these out from the paper collection. I thought they turned out so cute. And you can get a good little bit, you know, with small things in here. Uh, maybe like some nail polish or lipstick or, you know, something like that. So I thought this turned out cute. And then this right here is just a sleeve from the um, Dollar Tree's little boxes that look like this right here. And this one's really tight, so um, but it looks like this. And it has these compartments in it. I'm sure you guys probably have already seen these. But it has the compartments in it. And it's just a little sleeve. This just slides back up in here. And sometimes it's kind of tight to get going in here. But um, usually it does okay. It kind of gets hung back here too. But, um, but it just slides in there like that. I did the paper collection that, like I said, that I just shared with you guys. And fussy cut all these little cats i love this one sticking out behind there and then i fussy cut these two out and all of it actually these are the same little bows and hearts that i had on the little gift bag and it's got a little ball back here in the back with a little mouse right here and i did some little flowers here in the back i layered one of these um where you fold the paper i'll leave a link in her in the description bar for where i got the inspiration i think her name is the vintage goose and it just kind of looks like this right here where you fold it and then you can uh, stitch through it. And that's what's basically back here in the very back. And then I have some little flowers over here. I cut this out from the paper collection. This right here is a die that I got off of e uh, eBay. And then I did some of these little um, enamel dots in different places there. And then I made another one of the little ribbon um, tassels I guess you would call it 
with a tool bow and I picked this little bling piece up from eBay as well and I just put it up here with a lobster clasp and a little jump ring right here and another enamel dot and like I said this is just a little tab where you can pull it out whoever receives this can take this off if they want to and then I have some black glitter paper across the bottom here so I just thought this would be cute for somebody that liked cats and um, I thought it turned out so cute and my cousin she loves cats as well so I'll probably be putting something for her in here although she's not crafty I'll probably just send her this little box with some stuff in it so I hope you guys like my projects I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later bye bye